Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how you can actually create unlimited AI portraits. If you can see these images here, like these are all images which were generated using AI, but like they are all having my face. How you can actually generate these kind of images with your face is something that I wanted to show in this video. Uh, if you can look into my YouTube channel and all the thumbnails that I have been creating, all of the thumbnails that I have been creating, I have been publishing. You can see you will find my face for most of the thumbnails and all of those images, trust me, were AI generated, but look exactly like me. In, in some cases, like it's hard to believe that it's AI generated even for me. So that's how I create AI based images with my face, which were very close to reality. But how to generate those kind of images those kind of professional images, even it might be for your LinkedIn profile picture, it might be for your uh, Instagram post, or it might be for thumbnails like how I am doing. It might be for any other reason. Having an AI generated photo generation system with your face is something which is cool, right? There were many face wrapper tools, like even previously I have made a video on how you can generate your LinkedIn profile picture using AI, but that uses face wrapping. Face wrapping is not something which looks close to reality. Earlier, like uh, I will show you a bit earlier. See, if you can see, these are all face wrapped thumbnails. Even though these thumbnails have my face, but they doesn't really look close to me. But if you can see the recent ones, like these are all very close to me. How I have actually generated these thumbnails. So that's something that I will show. I use a website call or maybe an AI called Fluxlora. So Fluxlora is something which will help you to try your own image generation model. And uh, I will show you how you can actually do that. I will drop the link if you want. That's not something. Firstly, like I will show you how to generate or how I generate AI generated images. Uh, let's suppose like here it's uh, i'm just writing portrait photo of h1 using laptop uh, in name office background so this is something that i want to generate i can customize it so i want uh, size to be 16 is to 9 the thumbnail size i want the output format to be png and i'm just clicking run It will generate an AI generated image instantly. It took around 4.2 seconds. It's it's like it's with my face, it has generated an image, but I'm not satisfied with it. Like let's rerun it. It will again take maybe four to five seconds and it'll give me another image. Yeah, it took 4.69 seconds to give me an image. This looks more close to reality. I can download it easily. So I can have my AI image ready, oh, AI version of me. You can try with uh, multiple things as well, like a professional photo, or or maybe I can try something like Ashwant wearing a hoodie using a laptop, sitting in a coach. So I, I want to try something else. Let's try this. This looks more close to reality, right? This is amazing. So this is me. This exactly looks like me and I'm using my laptop. I'm sitting uh, in a coach. So you can create something like this very instantly. I don't want hoodie. Let's like, suppose I want a shirt. Like I can simply write a shirt wearing a shirt. And I'm just clicking run. It will took some time, maybe four or five seconds. Yeah, it took four point five three seconds, and it gave me one image. Here, like I'm wearing a shirt. It has updated that. You can simply type your prompt in a natural language, and Flexlora will instantly give you an image. So this is something that i mean i used to create uh, thumbnails or images like me uh, i mean exactly that look exactly like me but how to create this here i'm just typing ashwant right 
So how can an AI or maybe the flux era understand Ashwant as an individual with my face? How it's possible? So there's something that I will show you now. So here, like this is a page where you need to train your model for. So here I have already trained my model with my face, but how you can actually train that? I will show you step by step. First thing you have to do is like, you need to add your selfies. Like add around 20 selfies here. You can click add image here and you can select all the images uh, of you. You need to add at least 20 images of you. If you have a GIF file, maybe you can compress all those images in a GIF file or you can add images individually. You can add up to 50 as well. The more images that you add, the more, uh, I mean, really, really your image looks like or your age and version will looks like. So I suggest you to add more images of yourself more selfie images without any disturbances like you sh you should only appear in those images you shouldn't be wearing any glasses or cap or something your face should be appear should appear completely so that's something you should remember and there, there won't be any disturbances like maybe no other person no second person in the image no other objects uh, which will disturb the image so you sh only you should be uh, appear in those images that's something that you remember upload maybe up to 50 images of your choice so that's something that uh, you should remember and the other thing this is the tricky part here you need to give a name so in my case i have given ashwant i have trained this ai with my images at like up to 50 images with the name ashwant so if i try something like this then ultimately anyone can use this Yeshwant now. So because if anyone using Flexlora uses the word Yeshwant, then they will get my images because I have already trained a model with the keyword Yeshwant. So make sure you train your model with the unique keyword. Let's suppose your name is Ram, Ram or John. Uh, maybe many have that same name. So many would have already tried the model. So make sure your name is unique. I mean, that trigger word is unique. You can do whatever you want like it might be your nickname it might be your full name whatever it might be luckily i got my name so i, I mean no one uses my name to train any model so if anyone uses yes one for the model training or model generation or image generation then my images would come similarly give a trigger word which should be unique this should be unique you can see here it's also uh, giving you some suggestion trigger word to be used in the caption if none a trigger word will be will not use it if no captions were provided the trigger word will be used instead of captions if captions are provided okay so you, you need to give the name so that it will be easy for you to generate images i have used my name ashwant here so that i can simply run model gen unlimited images now like you don't need uh, any of those things like these are all optional but the thing that you should remember is you should need at least five dollars to to train this model so maybe it's around like four fifty rupees you need to spend that because uh, i mean once you train your model your model will be live you can generate images for lifelong you can top up or you can uh, generate whenever you need easily but for that you need to train your model the training costs around maybe five dollars uh when i use it when i did that it used it to be around two dollars but now it has been increased so five dollars but you only have to train once then uh, then you can uh, have something like this in the right side so you can simply run the inference and you can generate images easily so this is how you can generate unlimited ai portraits of yourself instantly by just training your model in flexlora i hope this video will help at least someone uh, who wanted to create their AI generated portraits. But yeah, you need to spend some money because you won't get quality. There were many free variations out there, like uh, free versions like maybe mid journey face swapping. And there were many other tools available to swap your faces with the images that you like. But you won't find quality. You won't find images which are close to reality. This is the only possible way because it uses stable diffusion and AI. So stable diffusion allows you to generate images close to reality. So that's the reason why you should pay at least five dollars for uh, the training. And yeah, this is not free. So I'm not misleading anyone by uh, by saying that it's free. You need to have five dollars in your account. Later you can top up, uh, maybe based on your requirement. That's your wish. Thank you for watching this video. If you find 
helpful please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are innovator and if you feel anyone else would get benefit from this video make sure you share this video with them thank you for watching